Hey folks, Vic here with your weekly trade video for Friday, October the 30th, 2020. Another month gone by and Halloween tomorrow. We could use more treats and less tricks, I think, right? Um, before I get started, I want to give a shout out to Darko, who as of November the 1st will have been with us for three years now as the lead coach for the Coach's Corner. Hard to believe uh, it's been, uh, it just goes by so fast. To commemorate this, we're having a webinar on November the 16th, and we'll send out registration information next week. And you really might want to attend or at least get the recording because uh, there are some very, um, as Darko likes to say, very juicy offers, <laughs> offers that we've never done before. It'll be really attractive. This has been an exceptionally challenging time to trade. And if you don't have a solid trading plan in place, and most importantly, that you know you got that you, if you don't have the patience and the discipline to follow it you can look forward to some pretty rough times or even blowing your account october's been another profitable month for us by adhering to the plan adhering to darko's pre-market analysis videos and then using the impeccable risk management and trade management that we suggest one of the real keys to our overall success is darko's ability to read the language of the markets and the price action and you know it's a skill that takes a bit of time but it is so worth it okay and by the way the pma videos um you know the the purpose there like they're designed to show our traders how to apply our approach in real time not after the fact i'll show you a few trades from this week so that you can see exactly how we read price and most importantly how we manage a trade once we're in it super important folks if you can stay profitable during crazy times like this yeah, Matt, you, I mean, you can look forward to some very nice trading when things settle out. And just before I show you the trades, uh, I just want to let you know, Darko and I uh, did a podcast together. And we really hope that you find it helpful. Maybe at least you find it insightful. Uh, there's a link to it in the text below this video or in the email that you received. Hope you like it. Okay, let's have a look at a few trades from this week. Okay, uh, this is the New Zealand Canadian dollar pair, October 28th. Actually, we had two trades on this pair back to back, same day. And you can see we're at this level of, of uh, uh, daily possible resist, pardon me, resistance part, yes. But price broke through it. And on this candle, intraday, it actually started to close above. And we had a, we had a, um, a swing break, etc. Let me just show you on the hourly chart here. So yeah, here it was here. Price uh, here was this this level of resistance, but price broke above it, and we had this swing break, which is a good good clue for us here. Price came down. The buy was right with the arrows pointing right in here. It was at 88.39. We needed a 14 pip stop, and as price hit this level, it started to go up a little bit. And you see these little opposing levels in here. On the, these are where price reacted, like a hit here and came down, a hit here and came down and down. You watch these levels for the purposes of trade management. It's huge, folks. Makes a big, big difference. Also, there was a Canadian, um, a Bank of Canada rate release coming out. That's red flag news. A big one, too. We avoid being in the market when red flag news comes out, especially if price is near our entry. And um, so uh, what happened is it got in, when, when we entered here, price hit these little levels in here and just wouldn't get going and came back and um, Darko actually posted in, the, in our chat room that he was reducing risk on this trade and he got stopped out for seven pips. That's super, super small. Like that was a 0.25% loss. You know, that's, that's just how you have to do it. The news release came out, price goes shooting up like this, takes out another swing here. This was pretty good, uh, another good looking trade. So we put the order back in again here with a lower low stop loss. Okay, this one here needed a 26 pip stop. Once again, once you're in the trade, watch for opposing levels on your entry time frame. Look at this level here. That's a, that's a pretty good level. That price reacted really hard. Look where price went to, right here. Down again, I know that people took profits at this level in here in the trading room, in our chat room, pardon me. And um, it's it's tr this trade management is huge, huge, huge. Came down like at the very least, you move your stop from here up to here, and you you have a very if you took a small loss, it's very very small. But the thing to do on these is you know take some profit. You know this is a, these are uncertain, very knee jerk reaction kind of times right now. That's two trades right there. So the 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 entry on this one just so it just so we're clear was right here, right? 
and then that was the reaction right there now we had another trade uh, this was on the euro pound pair okay and it was a euro pound uh, 25 minute chart divergence let me just show you what I posted here this is way before it happened price was going down this is a 15 minute chart and I will show divergence on 15 minute charts if they're good levels etc and the MACD was going up when price was way up here that's where I posted if it comes down to here look for a buy okay back to here there's the price going down there's the MACD going up this is when I posted it something came out it might have been some brexit related stuff I'm not sure hit our entry went straight up to old support now resistance and that's where it reacted that right there was uh, worth 21 pips at this opposing level you know nothing wrong with taking partial profit on maybe on half your position right and then the remainder either you know you you put your you move your stop from here to underneath here this never got hit the way that we do it and so here's something you can think about if you take half your profit for 21 pips here the opposing level on the higher time frame that profit would have been 52 pips that's 73 pips total 21 here plus 52 up there is 70 73 so the average is 36 pips the initial risk is 18 pips that's a clean two to one if price had gone up unfortunately it didn't but the point is you need to have a solid trading plan figured out in advance not after the fact the nice thing about taking a bit of profit here like like in here is that the, the position is funded right you can't lose on it and you still have a chance for a two to one and like I say this never even got stopped out by moving your stop from here to here but you sure don't want to be losing when it, when, it, when it tries it again and just fails on it okay what I just showed you is as close to the holy grail in trading as you're gonna find we are navigating some very uh, difficult waters right now with the global COVID-19 situation there's lockdowns economic uncertainties and of course a US presidential election coming up and our absolute first priority is and always has been uh, to make sure that our members are kept as protected as we possibly can and you know I have to say that Darko has done just an amazing job for us it's been a, a profitable year by following his PMAs and applying our approach and our rules with only one small losing month which was August so we're pretty happy with that I hope you like this video uh, that you found it helpful if so we'd sure appreciate a thumbs up by hitting the like button and uh, yeah be sure to subscribe to our channel and make sure that you hit that little bell when you do so that you're notified whenever we put out a new video and again make sure you listen to the uh, the podcast that Darko and I did earlier this week okay thanks so much everyone uh, wishing you all a great weekend please be safe let's get this spinning world uh, back on track thanks